Okay, so hello again. I'm Carlos Garrido, and I'm going to present our paper Efficient Approaches for Orientation Assembly in OMR. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so optical music recognition studies called how to completely read missing notation from music scores. Uh, fortunately, nothing has changed in the last presentation. And notation assembly is the stage in which elements are related to, to construct music notation. But however, however, this stage has received little attention in the last years. And uh, given the density of the scores, uh, these methods ha have to be efficient. To give you some background, there is little work focused on the retrieval of the relationship using machine learning techniques. And the only existing work is that of Alexander Paja and colleagues. And uh, in this work, for each pair, pair of notes, an image is constructed with information of the notes. And concretely, a convolutional neural network is trained to predict whether two notes or symbols are connected. They use handcrafted filters, like for example, distance in pixels and the possibility of a connection in, uh, on symbol classes to improve efficiency. In this work, wood results are reported, but the approach is slow since they have to do an image construction and also the forward pass of a convolutional neural network. Okay, so in this work, we are addressing the following question. Is it possible to obtain symbol relationship efficiently? In this work, we assume a previous detection of the symbols. And concretely, we have available uh, the following attributes or features, class and coordinates. And then for each pair of nodes, we predict one if there is a relationship or zero if there isn't. Okay, so moving on to our methodology, we propose to use two simple, two simple solutions. The first one is a multi-layer perception in which the features are concatenated and then followed by a sigmoid uh, application. We predict whether, it's a, whether there is a relationship or not. And the other one is the use of asymmetric kernels in which a dot product is applied to, to uh, to two different Hilbert spaces. Um, th th these features of the nodes are predicted to two different Hilbert spaces. And then uh, we we check if the, there is a relationship uh, and with a dot product. For the experiments, again, the again the, the Muschima was used and contains a handwritten missing notation. And as I have said in the previous uh, presentation, it's composed of uh, one. 140 music scores, more than 90,000 symbols, and more than 23,000 notes. So in this work, uh, the ML, MLP and the asymmetric kernels are compared in terms of accuracy and efficiency. We study the importance of each uh, feature or attribute on the prediction, and we we test with uh, test. We use uh, both attributes, class and location, uh, or only the symbol class or only the localization and uh, bounding boxes. The F1 is the metric used for measuring relationship retrieval only for positive relationships and the loss function is simple the binary cross entropy. Moving on to the results in this paper we can see that we in this figure excuse me we can see that our results are quite good overall and are quite close to the baseline of the work of Paha and colleagues. In particular, we see that the best results are obtained with the MLP when using all the information uh, that is uh, the class and, the, and also the localization. If we only use localization, we can get up to a 78.2 F1. And we see that effectively using the class is not possible to know if two primitives are, are connected. Okay, and this. In this uh, table, we see the we see the, the results in terms of the of the time, and we we tested against our our probably an optimized implementation of the of the the work of Paja and colleagues, and we see that the most efficient method is the asymmetric kernels, but as uh, we have seen in the previous slide, uh, was the 
was the less accurate and is followed by the MLP. We see that the work of, uh, of uh, Paja and colleagues, we, we don't think that, um, that it could be implemented in a real environment, for example, given the, given the, the, the time that is used for the image const construction and also the, the forward past. In this slide, I, I show you uh, two examples from the same uh, score and in order to compare the, the two methods, methods proposed, we see that in terms of the, of the recall, they are mainly the same. We see in, we see in, in blue the false positives. And we see that uh, in, this, in this line of the table results, we see that uh, precision is, is, uh, is lower for the asymmetric kernels. And this can be seen in the, the visual results that are shown that is in the image below for the asymmetric kernels. To sum up, we address a binary communication. And it consists in predicting whether there is a relationship between each pair of nodes. We have seen that MLP is uh, we have uh, MLP has high accuracy but is less efficient. Efficient, and the uh, asymmetric kernels is less uh, accurate but very efficient. As a future work, we we want to estimate the relevance of each error produced. You know, for example, an OMR pipeline. We also want to study this impact, and also we want to test our approach in other data sets. That were the references used, and that was all, and thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Carlos. Um, and now we can continue having some um, questions for Carlos uh, for this paper, and then continue on the uh, panel session. Um, Alexander? Yeah, thank you very much for the presentation. Very interesting uh, work. I have one immediate question here. If you could explain it maybe once more, because you glanced over it quite quickly. How do you select the inputs for your network? So you have different ways of how you can relate pairs of objects, but from the entire input image, I assume you have like, 1000 objects um, how do you select which because it seemed like you select pairs that you fit into your network which can either be a multi-layer perceptron or these asymmetric kernels how do you select which ones we, do you compare with which we we don't we, we don't filter any any notes we we pass all to the to the uh, to the network we 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 don't use any filter or we don't select in a particular order. We only um, we only pass it to the to the network. We don't have any any filter mm -hmm. for so selection you... or mm -hmm. selection policy. Right. So you have like a comparison of everything with everything. Yes, that's it. Okay. Did you also train on kind of this kind of data? Yes. Yes. Okay. Because what, what seems to me, like which comes to my mind is that if you train on this data where you compare everything with everything, you will only have a very sparse kind of uh, true connections because you have a lot of objects in one page that are not connected to each other and only very few objects that actually are connected. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. So, but I mean, Yes, in, in principle, we, we don't filter any any relation. Yes, this uh, mm -hmm. that, that problem that you said, but we we didn't see any any, any performance in filtering, for example, negative relationships uh, to to train the, the models. So mm -hmm. it's no problem at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Um, so just going back, I think it was the fifth slide. Um, Yes. All right. So um, you said that the the relationship predict, uh, predictor uh, is going to either um, up at the zero or one, right? Yes. That's it. Okay. Um, so there is no no weight in in relationships. Um, 
and in in this case so it would we would be a, a zero or or a one yes that's it that's it um okay so what would um just the two note has well two notes um what we... uh, or ah uh, you are asking for this uh the example uh, this the example concretely yeah. yes it will put a zero the zero yes uh and if I remember right, uh, the staves are also linked to the note heads, right? So that's why we see all the green um, green lines in the final. Yes, in this list. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, that's it. That's it. All right. Thank you. Um...